Describe the technology associated with structured products. So historically, um, it's been quite a fragmented market. Um, so if you take uh, a couple of decades back, uh, each bank had their own, let's call it pricer. Uh, some were uh, Excel based, some were email based, some were, uh, you know, at that point, there was it, there was nothing internet based. Um, and as a consumer of structured notes, one had to then approach every single one of these banks to then uh, see what their issuance uh, was at the time, uh, what the pricing was like, et cetera, et cetera. Then <clears throat> what happened was banks started to cotton on to the fact that they were spending huge amounts of uh, time and people resource in pricing up m many, many iterations of the same thing. So you would have a request to price up a capital protected structured note linked to the S&P 500. And you would revert with that price and the client would come back and say, what happens if I put 10% at risk? What would that change my upside potential to be? So the time consuming nature of this iterative process around uh, pricing made the banks concentrate very uh, hard on delivering a technology solution to free up their structuring desks from that. And basically put the ball back with the consumer to say, you, Mr. Consumer, now have a platform through which you are able to price up and structure your own note without having to pick up the phone to uh, the bank until such time as you, you're ready to trade. So that solved one problem, but it, it, it still left you as the investor or the consumer needing to then access four or five different banks as single prices. What happened then was the, the technology companies got involved. So not the banks, technology companies. And they said, we see the problem here. You've got a bunch of banks at the top and a bunch of consumers at the bottom and single pipes going into every single one of those. If we step in to the middle and insert ourselves in between, and if we integrate with the banks and provide a single platform through which customers can then access multiple issuers, maybe we've got a business uh, um, that can thrive here. And that indeed has become the case. So the consumer now um, uses what they call multi-issuer platforms much more than they would use uh, single-issuer platforms. And ABSA you know, is a good example of that. Uh, we've partnered with a fintech out of Chicago called Halo, Halo Investing to be specific. And they, they have um, powered a platform Form for us through which through which they are in terms of uh, structured product issues. The other benefit, um, Hi, of course, is yes. For some reason, your video has frozen. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Where uh, did you lose me? Okay, so we're going to go straight into the. In, okay, we, 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 you lost me at a good point where you just started to describe Halo. Okay. Oh, right. okay. You're back. So, um, so for. Just for, for, for edit, for Ashley, if you can just reference, we're going to cut back to where Ryan started to talk about Halo, carrying on as you were Ryan. We partnered with Halo. So Absa have partnered with a fintech out of Chicago called Halo. And what that now allows Absa clients to do is to log into a single Absa branded platform through which they are able to access um, pretty much the entire street of global banks and their uh, global note issuance programs. So single place, multi-issuer, you as a consumer are able to, to choose the best price or the particular credit that you want to access um, all via the single FinTech solution. The other benefit is one of size and scale. Because everything is plugged in via a straight through processing mechanisms uh, and, and technology, the cost of issuance for the banks has reduced vastly. And as a result, the barriers to entry in terms of minimum trade size have also come down. 
rewind five years, um, you couldn't do a hard currency structured note uh, with any bank for less than a million dollars. Uh, right now, the minimum stands at $250,000. So um, an independent financial advisor, a um, DFM firm, provided you can get enough clients together to, to structure a note that where the total issuance is $250,000, then you're able through the platform to be able to come along and, and, and do that as you see fit. So, uh, you know, technology has really changed the way that the structured product uh, is consumed in the market uh, relative to even five years ago. Uh, 